Well, the suspect in a brutal 1994 murder of a mother and her three-year-old son is behind is being held behind bars. Today, that man went before a judge for the first time in the case, but it's come too late for the victim's family. 29 years. I mean, the poor boy only got to live three months of his life. Right here. That's not even a... Okay. Okay. An emotional day in court, 29 years in the making. <sighs> The not knowing. Back in 2022, we introduced you to Vianne Falcon. This handwritten letter introducing us to her daughter's case, asking Fox 13 to help spotlight Stacy's unsolved murder. She writes that her family would only get justice if the story, quote, gets enough exposure to put pressure on the King County prosecutors to charge the killer. Stacy Falcon Dewey and her three year old son Jacob are the ones in this black and white photo. After charges were announced in 2022, she told us she went to her daughter's grave, finally confident the good news was on its way. Your justice is just around the corner. You know, that, that's going to happen while I'm still alive. Sadly, she was wrong. Vianne passed away shortly after that interview. COVID and legal wranglings delayed a hearing for her daughter's alleged killer, Jerome Jones, the man you see here in cuffs. The judge ordered that we can't show his face in court, though a mugshot from his days in Kern Valley, California State Prison is available. A lawyer, though, now telling the judge that murder charge he was serving time for has been vacated, leading his family to plead for privacy. So out of respect of our family, I ask that until we get the fact that it's not something displayed, um, their family was not the only one affected by this. Charging documents indicate that Jones's DNA was found on Stacy back in 1994, though it wasn't until 2001 that New Tech could pin that on Jones. Stacy's family didn't even know about it until years later when the Seattle Times uncovered the DNA match during its reporting on the case. It appears little evidence has changed, save another DNA match. Prosecutors say they found semen on the jacket of the young boy matching the suspect in 2021. Uh, Renton police this week explaining, quote, we acknowledge how frustrating it can be for a victim's family when immediate closure to a case like this can't be realized. But we hope they find solace in knowing that our detectives never gave up trying to find who was responsible for the senseless deaths of Stacy and Jacob. So I blame them for me having this small, my small smile is gone. Has been. Uh, Jones is facing two aggravated murder charges, but Ren police, the investigators for this case, say that a long road lies ahead in court. While Stacy's mom died before seeing this day, other family members are still alive, and after years of waiting, they're now one step closer to learning more. But the case will be hard to hear. Investigators believe that Stacy was beaten, bound, and raped before both her and her son were shot and killed.